Barrett from the pocket. Escapes. Not for long, though. And there is Brandon Bell off the edge. He ain't playing 20 snaps tonight. He wants to make an impact. Here comes pressure from the edge. Hills hit as he did. He didn't even get the throw off. That's a live ball. Picked up by Penn State. Garrett Sickles down the sideline, and Hills takes him out. I don't think that arm was coming forward when he got hit by Brandon Bell. The ruling on the field right now is a fumble. Well, let's take a look at whether or not this is a pass. Yeah, see, if, if the arm's coming forward, then this is a pass. But I don't think it is. Nope, no chance. Not at all. And how about Bell, uh, Bell having the wherewithal to stick the hand out and go for the football? Again, you wear LeVar Arrington's number at Penn State, brother. You better be a good linebacker. Remember, he's great with his hands catching the ball. Houston Strip, who's got it loose. And Wisconsin falls on it, but Penn State bringing pressure. Brandon Bell punched it free. Well, I don't want to put too much pressure on Brandon Bell, but that was very LeVar Arrington-esque at linebacker. You right over Agumbawale into the face of Houston, bats the ball away, and Houston barely got back. Look at him hurdle over the running back and strip it out of his hands. Four-man rush. Rudock over the middle, and it's intercepted. Brandon Bell gets to the sideline with the stiff arm. State's got it back. Defensive coordinator Bob Shoup does a wonderful job teaching his guys and growing his guys about situational football. And Brandon Bell is watching the eyes in zone coverage of Jake Rudolph. He is seeing everything right in front of him. Look at Bell's eyes. He's looking right at Rudolph. And that time, Rudolph does not look off that coverage. Tries to fit it into a tight window to Chesson. Simulate what's going on in a real game, Kevin. Silva to the air on first down and it's intercepted. Picked up by Brandon Bell. And Penn State takes it away at the Rutgers 46 yard line. Fourth interception thrown by Nova tonight. And what a critical error at this point in the ballgame. Well, we've been defending Nova that some of the interceptions did not belong to him. You can't fault anybody but him on that one. I think he knew it as soon as he threw it, coach. They're checking it just to make sure that he was able to keep it off the turf. Doesn't look like there's any question. Play action. Trouble in the backfield again. Barrett's going down again. Brandon Bell with a sack. Brandon Bell, the field linebacker, came on a blitz. I think Ezekiel Elliott got confused whether he was supposed to block him or not. Watch 15 just go right by the blitzing linebacker. And Bell able to grab a hold of the jersey. Elliott passes him up. He has a direct route to the quarterback. And back-to-back -back negative plays for this Penn State defense. As Temple has the football back with Jahad Thomas in the eye. Here comes the blitz under pressure. P.J. Walker lost the football. A scramble for it. Who's got it? The Nittany Lions think they do. Again, Brandon Bell with pressure on the quarterback. Knocked it out. Penn State football. Torrance Brown recovered it. Nobody's played faster on this field in the first quarter and a half than Brandon Bell. You've seen him on third down conversion stops showing the immense power he has and that time right off the edge. And if you don't account for him in your protection and you think you can slide away and get the ball out of your hands, you have no chance. True junior with another game defining play to add to his resume here early. Play action again for Rudock steps up in the pocket. The ball comes out. Jumping on top of it is Brandon Bell for Penn State. It looked like Bell knocked it out, and it looked like Bell recovered it. Penn State's got the football. Well, there's the same mix that we have seen from Coach Shoup defensively. He continues to sprinkle in those pressures. Bell earlier with the huge takeaway, reading the eyes of Rudock, and that time, well, he gets out on the edge in the pass rush, and he disrupts. You'll see. 
A little five-man pressure here, and he's coming up the field, and then the awareness to come back, and he is battling and playing on one leg in many ways. An injured Nittany Lion, a junior that does not want to send his seniors out the wrong way today. Another blitz coming. Lego can't take a sack. The ball pops out. Brandon Bell knocked it away into the end zone. That's a touchdown. Torrance Brown, the scoop and score. And that puts it on ice for Penn State. And that time, the senior Brandon Bell never gives up. Lego tries to extend. But it really extends to the whole team. Offense, defense, special teams. And again, the Lions would tell us you should not be surprised with what you've seen. This is our MO all year. Darnold delivers on the slant, batted up, intercepted. Bell's got it on the deflection, rumbling down inside the five, tackled by the quarterback. A crazy carom and everything going Penn State's way. He just talks at the report from Tom Rinaldi. He's going into the locker room, tears in his eyes. He comes back, makes a big hit the previous play, and now he comes up with an interception. The corner, Christian Campbell, creates the interception. He jumps the route. How many times have you seen a quick throw? Gets his hands on the ball, almost comes up with the interception himself, but by tipping it up into the air, it falls eventually into the hands of Bell. But Christian Campbell, the junior, creates the turnover for Penn State. Campbell might have grabbed it and it fallen to the ground. Bell says, no, I'll just take, take that it. from you. I'll, I'll take, take that from you. Yeah, but, but his, his acceleration off the break on the quick slant is really what set that up and then Bell the senior takes it away literally took, took it, it off a teammate yeah Brandon was a playmaker you know he just he he always kind of found a way to defeat the block um, you know to to get his hands on a ball to make an interception he just he was a natural playmaker um, that's why he was so successful for so many years here um, and that production you know that production you know that playmaking is always difficult to replace